This conference will now be recorded. All right, so happy Friday. Today is Friday, April 17th. And as always, everything that we're going to be talking about today is for educational purposes only, and nothing is intended as any type of investment advice. All right, so first thing I'm going to be looking at is MRNA. As I was saying, we saw you know a bunch of things jump up yesterday into the aftermarket as we heard our speech of the, you know, the the phases of the uh, basically of america starting to get back to thinking about opening now unfortunately i you know i live in new york we are going to have a lot longer time period than most people but um overall it looks like you know the market was a little bit happy now at the same time i think that we might be kind of jumping a little bit ahead of things but you know what it doesn't really matter because what we're going to do is we're going to follow the prints as we always do so first thing is that mrna so coming in this morning you can see it's a little bit everything out there is just a little bit mixed so if we come up right now you can see 47 750, but that was followed by 48 ask that we had, and then that 4850 once again, you know, decent little bursts, especially for how thin the orders actually have been out there. Now, one thing that I do want to look at is if we come back to really early this morning, you can see these two prints at 48 and 4750. So really someone started a lot earlier than the prints that we originally had that came back up here um so definitely all selling from the beginning kind of gives us a little bit of an indication especially with 50 right up above that maybe a little push into it i mean it's already tested it twice a little push into it but i am going to be expecting us to see a little bit more of a drop i mean it did jump up on pretty much nothing um but it was the aftermarket so once again this late into the aftermarket that you know that still is a lot of volume but just not enough there that i've seen within the prints to show me that this thing really has any ability to be able to break above that 50. So we're really going to want to see, you know, first of all, to kind of get away from that area. But overall, what we're going to be looking for is a little bit of a jump up and then a trigger back towards that downside for these people from the beginning of the market can end up making their money. Next thing we're looking at is Gild, G-I-L-D. So this is another one where it's a little bit all over the place, but my, you know, as we saw before, 84.50, a beautiful uh, selling that was coming into it. Um, and then before, it's not going to let me go back to the other prints that we have, but I have them over here, which I can look at. And so the problem is, is that when we were at that 85 level before, so we got good selling that came into 85, but then we had ask prints that came in almost immediately afterwards. But I love the reaction that we're seeing coming in. We're definitely getting a lot of selling showing us that this jump up once again wasn't really on that much as we started coming in now the volume wasn't horrible but you could see how it started to begin right about here where you know you're talking about under 50,000 shares popping that back up so definitely a lot of selling that's coming into this thing this morning i'm going to be expecting you know pretty substantial pullback especially with 85 there now just keep in mind because of the amount of selling that we just saw i would not be surprised whatsoever for them to bring this right back up to 85 start playing games again before we end up coming back down you know this morning we're getting a kind of a mix we haven't you know we're getting some good prints out there don't get me wrong within these two but it's just it's not really as definitive we'd like to see but overall the selling that we're seeing coming into this right now is definitely showing us that people are taking a lot of profit out of it and starting to look into those short positions because we saw the profit coming out first and then afterwards we're starting to see that second phase and then you know we talked about this in class before that second phase is usually the position being taken towards the direction that they're expecting it to go which would be this 8450 that just came in now so i got two side list stocks amc so AMC, am I really that happy with it? Eh, not really. Now it's looking a lot better as we came into nine. You can see that we started to get actual buying that was coming into the stock right underneath that four level. The only problem is, is that we really didn't get much. You know, I would have liked to see such a cheap stock, four dollar stock, more than four or five prints that come out here on that four level, and then immediately followed by that selling. So obviously pull back underneath, and then there's not really that much money that needs to be made above that four. So it's kind of iffy. But once again, you know, it's on the side list stock. I have to assume that AMC is happy about what they said that you know starting to think about opening movie theaters and so on and so forth that's why we're kind of getting that move towards that upside um but just need to see more buying there i like that position that just came in right now 390 right here definitely a ballsy position so like i said there's not a ton of room it needs to make up above four though so we're definitely going to need to see a lot more coming in and then i'm going to keep an eye on gene so Gene, uh, the one thing, I'm not too happy with the buying we saw earlier. There wasn't really that much that came in here on the bigger side of prints um, coming up towards those highs. So I'm not happy about that. And especially that second uh, attempt that it tried to make to get back up there, we didn't really see much. So this is one of those stocks that would really come out of nowhere. What we need to see is we need to see them start to uh, – 
start to see some type is some type of building level here because we're in consolidation but you can see there's not anything that that's that's that great it's just way too mixed i want to see some type of you know it, the problem is is when you see a consolidation like this and you just get buying then selling then buying then selling it's mixed i we're, we're not really getting you know a one way or the other within this consolidation at this moment so it's on the you know bottom of our side list but not really a ton that's going on out there that's not market stocks this morning now one thing i do want to bring up is b a b a coming up to that 150 level and we had selling it's actually kind of coming back down but it was uh, based off what we had in this consolidation there was no chance it was going to be able to break this 150 and if it did it would have been an excellent spot to look for a short coming back down so just obviously something that we'll be keeping our eye on on top of zm our airlines and our cruise ships um, i'm a little shocked i saw that article yesterday with ccl that they knew about that their their boats were infected and they just kept it going anyway so i'm a little bit surprised that it just made a move like that afterwards now we all know where our selling is um you know so I am not expecting them to stay up there. And then Oxy, Oxy, we have a huge amount of selling that's in this thing. And it's, you know, it jumped up, but you can see it's just starting to come back down. Now it is getting a lot of covering as we can see on its way down. And, you know, I'm not as happy as I could be with the amount of selling that we're seeing coming into that 13, because you can see there's just a lot, a lot, a lot of green that came in yesterday um, and not as much red, but Overall, we know where that selling is towards that downside. This thing does not have a chance overall of, of holding above that 10. It's just too, too, too much that's coming into it. All right, and other than that, that's pretty much it. I'm not really seeing um, too much. I mean, Dow actually, you know, we'll take a look real quick. Um, Dow just got some nice selling that came in at that 24 level. And then obviously AAL, big, uh, big prints. 1182 to 1178. So, so everything that's up, we're starting to see a lot of selling coming into it. So something to keep in mind. Now, anything else out there that I missed? Anything else out there that I missed? I think that does it. All right, beautiful. So let's get ready for our morning. Remember, the pre-market's a little bit slow right now. So just keep that in mind as we're getting into the, uh, the the open of the market. All right, no reason to force anything. We have the whole day, okay? Don't you know, don't try to force the trades. Let those trades come to you. Let's make sure we're working on our habits. I will talk to everyone in the chat and happy trading.